all right welcome back to the stream welcome back to another video today today we're going to talk about this tesla killer that i've been actually watching for a little bit i've been keeping my eye on it i think it's more so because i live in the los angeles socal area so i see a lot of these vehicles everywhere and so I'm, i'll be waiting because like it's gas is expensive right gas is gas is always going up so if we can get into a you know a nice luxurious Tesla killer from another competition, you know, the competition, it might be worth it, it might be worth it, but I'm, I'm always abreast, I want to take a look at what always, what is out there, what is in the market, and this vehicle is definitely super interesting. Today we're going to talk about the electric G-Wagon, the EQG, is it actually going to be a Tesla killer, what we know so far, and also there's some cool stuff that just actually just got released today, I'll definitely put it in the comments in the and in the description so you guys can take a look at it but let, we're going to review we're going to review the eqg my thoughts on it what it what i thought it was going to look like and they've just completely completely changed it uh from that or at least it looks just basic from it from that but thanks for watching another video and let's let's get into it All right, so this is what the EQG, I guess, the concept vehicle came out and looked like. You can see, you know, it's very, uh, I guess, retro, as they like to call it. You know, you can see the lightning bolts. It's like a silver on the side. But I guess, like, looking at this, it doesn't look too crazy from the the original. I mean, you, you got this, like, like LED front, glass front in the uh, front right there. Uh, the back side, they changed the wheel to like uh, whatever this LED is on the side. There's LEDs all over the side. I mean, this vehicle actually exists. Like they, they use this vehicle, of course, for the car shows. They use it in uh, marketing and commercials and stuff like that. There's just a lot of, you know, a very retro electric feel to it. And so you can see it's labeled in their EQ line in the EQG. So I guess there was a bunch of uh, automotive uh, reviewers that went out and did a test with Mercedes. And you can see that it, the the test concept one, maybe this is like a test mule or something, because this just looks like a normal G wagon today. It looks they didn't really change anything to the front or the outside of this test vehicle. Maybe it, because this one's just you know purely just for driving experience testing, uh, but. Not much was really released in this article. I mean, a lot of, I would say, just words, but some really cool stuff that they did take it off-roading and they took it through some dirt roads and it looks like it was able to handle it pretty well. I mean, of course, this vehicle is definitely going to sell in certain parts of the country, especially California, where people just love their G-Wagons here. But the, really the stuff that we want to see is like, what what's what's like the battery size on, is, on this? Is it going to have 300 miles of range that it needs to have to compete with like the Model X or any other big SUV like the R1S and stuff like that. So looks like the stats we got right here is 108 kilowatt hour pack. So that's pretty big. I mean, the car is still like huge, right? 6,000 pounds. We're not as heavy as like a Hummer, but still up there for sure. So they're estimating like 310 miles on a full charge, which would make sense. And if it can charge on a 350 uh, 350 kilowatt charger, then it should go from 10 to 80 percent in about 30 minutes, as it says. But the really, really cool thing that they were able to release with this, it just like how Rivian released like the tank turn and stuff like that, they were able to get some footage of it just going crazy. You can see right there, like that's that's a crazy mode, and supposedly you could go either direction as well. I guess they're calling it the G turn, but I mean that I would be super dizzy if I was in something like that going around back and forth but definitely some cool stuff I guess Edmonds was also there as well as Motor Trend you can see like some really cool test footage from that but what do you guys what do you guys think about this electric G-Wagon I mean of course this if the current G-Wagon is like a hundred I don't even know what is a G Mercedes G-Wagon price I think the current price is like what a hundred 150 like MSRP wise and then you have of course you have the G63 uh, so let's see 139,000 uh, starting for the G550 and then you have a G63 at 180 but of course you can't really get these vehicles at MSRP there's always always some sort of markup with these vehicles but I would imagine 
I would imagine like the electric G where EQG probably comes in around 150. I mean the EQS, the EQB, the EQE, it doesn't seem like those are being overpriced at all. I mean, Mercedes is definitely coming out with some interesting stuff. And this is a vehicle, the EQB, that's actually kind of, I feel like it's gone under the radar for a lot of people in terms of like the value that it actually brings. So this is the EQB. I try and hype this vehicle a lot because I think it's a good deal. I mean, it comes with, I mean, yeah, of course, maybe the range is a little lower the msrp of this vehicle starts at like fifty seven thousand dollars the kicker is there's two actually is that the first one is i think each of these come with a third row seat which i mean is not bad i mean i think it looks great i mean of course it's not a huge big car like a big suv so the first thing is that all each of these come with like a third row seat and the second thing is that all each of these if you buy in america of course comes with two years free charging with electrify america which i think I mean, I think that's a pretty, pretty slamming deal. Uh, I mean, because if, especially if you're someone new coming to the game and you don't really know the charging dynamics, then yes, you know, super Tesla supercharging is definitely a more built out system. Electrify America, there's definitely some quirks and features with it. People, you know, have issues charging or is getting even start to charge. So definitely, you know, it's not as good, not as easy as just rolling up to a Tesla supercharger and just getting out and plugging in. So there's pros and cons. But if, 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 if I was back in the market, which I am, I'm still kind of waiting. I've already shopped a couple of dealers and you can get this car at MSRP P relatively easy. So getting this car at 57,000 versus a Model Y at 66, 67, 68, I mean, that's like, you, it could be a $10,000 $10, difference between these vehicles. So I, that's why I personally think that this vehicle might be worth at least, you know, taking a gander at if you're in the market, you know, you got to take a look at what's out there. You know, I am definitely a Tesla fan at the end of the day. I've had three Teslas so far and I want to get another, but at the same time, you got to keep your eyes up and see what's out there in the competition in the market and that's why i feel because of this this vehicle audi has a vehicle lexus bmw actually doesn't they don't they're not bringing the x1 electric vehicle to america but because there's so much competition actually coming into the market and that low 50 mid-range 55k price point we know or i think for sure tesla's going to bring the model y standard range to America at like the 59 and actually release it, which there you can get one today. Like there's one that popped up yesterday, but I think they're going to publicly make it available for order because right now you can't actually get, you got to wait for an inventory vehicle to pop up or something to like to that effect. And you can't exactly get one a hundred percent, but let me know what you guys have thought us on the uh, EQ EQB or even also the EQG, this uh, G turn as they like to call. It. I mean, I think that's, pretty sick i mean even if you don't even like mercedes that's a cool feature and then maybe i mean this is competition's good right maybe the model x would come out with like an x turn or something like that of course i mean this is a dirt road i don't know if you want to take your model x because it's pretty low you know if you don't know if you want to take your model x onto the dirt roads off-roading like this but definitely pretty cool uh let me know what you guys thoughts on it but thanks for watching this video please hit that like if you enjoy it and i'll see you guys in the next one see ya